Eminem's new album comes out July 12th, and we just got a ton of information about it. We got the track list, we got the art, we got a new single. We have a ton of stuff to go through. The first thing we can talk about is Eminem's new single. We know he dropped Houdini a couple weeks ago with an amazing music video. The whole fan base loved that, but he also just dropped Toby last week. Toby features Babytron on the hook with his own verse and Big Sean. So it's some of the best out of Detroit all on the same song. I've seen some mixed reviews about Toby. I personally like Houdini better, but I also just prefer Eminem without features anyway. If you haven't checked it out, I highly recommend it. The hook is very catchy and all of the artists kind of throw it into the beginning of their verse. Eminem planned to have the music video come out on a Wednesday night, I believe, but ended up getting delayed for a couple reasons. I believe it was editing, and that had us all worried about if the whole album was going to be delayed. Luckily, it's not. A lot of people did like Toby, though, but I saw a lot of hate on the music video. It's really kind of unfortunate, because if you're as big as Eminem and you have a huge music video coming out, it's already hyped up enough, but then when you delay it, the fans really expect something huge, and naturally, some of the fans just kind of felt let down after that. I don't really think you should be let down, because we know Houdini just had Eminem on it, Houdini was the lead single. Not all the songs are gonna be like Houdini. And it was pretty good to see Big Sean and Babytron on the same track. Both of those artists are amazing. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on Toby by Big Sean, Babytron, and Eminem down below. If you don't know who Cole Bennett is, he worked on the music video for Toby. There's a pretty inspirational clip of him on the phone with Babytron, basically telling him that Eminem wants the song on the album. I have news for you. So, the Toby shit, the shit with you and uh, Big Sean, Eminem loves it so much that it's going on his album. He's about to, he's, I, I gave it to him. Yeah, you're on Eminem's album. I love you, Gary. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> right there. I ain't gonna lie, bro. That happened to you, Michelle. And I, I'm doing the video for it, and it's, 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 uh, it's locked and loaded. But I'm sure, I'm sure his team's about to reach out to you and shit. But, uh, yeah, so that shit's on Eminem's album. You're on Eminem's album. Ah. Yeah. I gotta go celebrate, bro. Take eight thrones or something. <laughs> go celebrate for sure, bro. Where, where you at? Pretty cool to see Baby Tron appreciate Eminem and he was thankful to be on the album. I'm not even trying to hate. This might be some of the ugliest merch I've ever seen. White Castle and Eminem merch. You got like the white rapper instead of White Castle. Definitely a little bit interesting. I will not be buying this, but I do want to get a physical copy of the album. Then that leads us up to earlier today. I'm recording this on a Tuesday. Eminem dropped this on his Instagram and basically every social. It's the cover to the Death of Slim Shady. You've got the different font. It's kind of like the Slim Shady LP font. In the bottom left, you see Eminem zipped up, basically being zipped away from the rap game, I guess. You can see right here, Skylar Gray also reposted it onto Twitter, tagging Eminem. Let's hope that doesn't mean it's a bunch of pop features because Skylar Gray does have some good songs with Eminem, but I also want to see Eminem doing songs like Houdini. I personally don't want to see too many features on the album. I know he could do great with features, but I also loved Houdini so much that I want to see the rest of the album kind of like that. But to be honest, we probably won't get a bunch of Houdini. So yeah, Skylar Gray probably on the album. Definitely showing support. Let me know your thoughts on that. This album is definitely huge. I mean, Sirius XM posted Eminem says goodbye to his alter ego forever. Shade 45's D Story is taking you and a studio audience in LA on a guided tour through the album. Basically, you can enter to win, and 10 people will attend a special listening party. Your chances of winning, very small, but definitely cool to see Shade 45 giving out special passes to a listening party. This also confirms that the alter ego Slim Shady is going to be gone forever. There's a lot of people defending it, saying it's just the album concept. It really sounds like it's saying goodbye to the alter ego forever. Over on Instagram, we have White Gold showing support as well. Kind of ironic because months ago I talked about this album and we talked about White Gold and in the comments a lot of people thought that he was going to be featured. You guys convinced me in my Discord with that snippet. Yes, there's a snippet of Eminem and White Gold, an unreleased song. I kind of doubt that's what's actually on the album, especially if it's leaked. I bet Eminem would replace it with something. But yeah, there's a good chance White Gold and Skylar Gray are both going to be on this album. We also got the entire track list to the death of Slim Shady. But before we get into that, I want to thank the channel's sponsor, SeatGeek. With Eminem's album being rolled out as we speak, there's a good chance he's going to go on tour. And if not him, there's plenty of artists that so if you want to go to any concert or sports game, maybe a football game, you've probably seen how expensive the tickets are. That's where SeatGeek comes in. When you go to buy the ticket, it gives you a scale 0 to 10 on how good the ticket is for the value that you're buying it for. And it's the easiest website and app that I've used to buy tickets. And also because of the partnership with the channel, if you use my code It's Mason at checkout, you get $20 off. So maybe you want to go to a concert and it's $60. You can use the code and you'll get in there for $40. Bucks. So yeah, definitely worth it to use SeatGeek if you're buying tickets. And thank you to them for sponsoring this video. Back to the track list right here, I have two screenshots. This is 19 tracks. I'm going to hide my face cam right here. You can read through these. I'll read through them top to bottom. Number one, Renaissance. Two, Habits. Three, Trouble. Four, Brand New Dance, which honestly might be a play on the song Same Song and Dance. Number five, Evil. Number six is a skit called All You Got. Seven, Lucifer. Eight, Antichrist. 
9 Fuel, 10 Road Rage, 11 Houdini, which has already come out. 12 is another skit called Breaking News, which is followed by Guilty Conscience Part 2. That should definitely be an interesting listen. Number 14 is Head Honcho, 15 is Temporary, 16 is Bad One, 17 is Toby, which has already come out, 18 is a skit called Guess Who's Back, and number 19 is Somebody Save Me. Yes, the last Slim Shady Alter Ego song is called Somebody Save Me. That has potential to be an amazing storytelling song, I guess you could say. So I'm excited to see what we get from that. Something else you can see, this is on Apple Music, by the way. If you look at the description, it says, Will the real Slim Shady please lie down? Pre-add the new album now. Just another cool little Easter egg about the death of Slim Shady. Pretty cool to see such a big track list. I mean, 19 songs. Besides Toby, we don't really know what the features are. Like we said, we kind of speculated about Skylar Grey and White Gold, but neither of those are confirmed. I personally would like to see maybe a Kendrick Lamar, maybe a Jid, or Denzel Curry maybe, he'd be awesome. So yeah, 19 tracks, looking at the titles, a lot of them seem like not really sequels, but like connected to the other songs. I talked about the brand new dance, same song and dance. Obviously the Guilty Conscience Part 2 is a sequel to Guilty Conscience. Bad One kind of sounds like Bad Guy. I don't know, that might be a reach just for me, but I do hope to see some connection to the other albums, which we've already kind of got from Houdini. And yeah, that's all we know about the death of Slim Shady dropping July 12th. Let me know what you're most excited for about this album down below. This really feels like a make or break album from Eminem. If this is a flop, it could be the end of his career, not just the alter ego. He'll always have those fans listening to him, but it'll be hard for him to escape the fall law slander that he does get. I don't really agree with it, but he does get that from a lot of people. So yeah, thank you for watching. Very excited. If you want more Eminem videos, click right up here. I pointed the wrong way again. I do that in like every video. I don't know why. But yeah, card right up here. More Eminem videos. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more in the future. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Yeah, thank you for watching. Peace out.